Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a million dollar secret, honey. A tip on how you can achieve seamless, flawless, ombre highlights, honey. Transition, smooth, nice, delicious, no more choppy ombre, no excuses after this video, okay? Let's get into this. Okay, so the wig that I am working on is from bestlacewigs.com and it, 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 it is that girl cat got your tongue. <laughs> okay, it's their Indian version silky straight hair and it's 150% density 20 inches and this is what the inside of the cap looks like it's pretty standard you got your clips I've previously bleached the knots if you want to see how it customizes and stuff like that that is in other video links but today is all about color I want us to all have beautiful transitional colors all of us together okay so first I'm going to section the hair into how many parts? One, two, three, four, basically five parts we're gonna have here. We're gonna have a piece that goes from ear to ear across the face, and that's what's gonna frame your face. Then we're gonna have two sections on each side, a section in the back and one at the top. Now, I recommend doing these sections just because it really helps you kind of keep everything under control, especially if you're a beginner and you're really not sure where to start. This is gonna be a great guide for you, and it's just gonna be super easy to deal with later on, which you will see. Okay, let's talk about products here. So once again, I am using Shoreskoff's Blonde Me Nine Levels of Lift, my favorite bleach, well, one of my favorite bleaches, with 30 volume developer, as well as I am using their blue additive. This helps bleach and tone, y'all. This is making your life easier, so you're not getting a super orange color. As well, make sure you are using virgin hair. If you are not using virgin hair, there is nothing I can guarantee here. So that's why I'm using this wig from Best Lakes Wigs, because it is virgin, and I know it's gonna act like real hair so for highlighting I like the texture of my bleach mixture to be I guess comparable to yogurt is the best way I can describe it um, it just I find it easiest to maneuver and manage throughout the hair okay so we're gonna start with that first section in the front and you see I'm taking a section that kind of sits like above the eyebrow area and this is gonna be the piece that's gonna hang down the middle of your face or off to the side and I'm gonna weave yes I'm weaving out this piece and then I'm gonna back comb back comb about three times, three to four times. And that back combing right there, y'all, that is gonna guarantee that you don't have a harsh line of demarcation, even if you're a little heavy on the bleach. Like, that is gonna save your life. You're gonna have a smooth transition. After you've applied the bleach down the shaft of the hair, you're gonna fold your foil vertically. Yes, vertically is gonna make sure that you're not folding the bleach up on top and creating any kind of demarcation. You're gonna set the bleach exactly where you want it and then fold your foil vertically so that everything lays and sits exactly like how you positioned it. So I'm doing the same thing again. I'm weaving and I'm back combing three to four times. And don't, it doesn't need to be super tight back combing. It can be nice and light. You just wanna create um, a diffused look so that the color is gonna transition from the dark to the light. And this works basically because you're causing the hairs to sit at different places. Like, so you back comb it, you push the hairs up, you push some of the hairs up, and then some of them are sitting at different places. So you're not applying the color at the same spot. So it just works, y'all. Try it, you're gonna love it. Okay, so I, I did the front because that's the part that I want to be the lightest and kind of frame around my face. And then I'm moving on to the other sections in the back and the side. So within that ponytail, I'm actually gonna leave the ponytail at the top in, and then I'm gonna create little subsections within this little ponytail, and I'm gonna bleach this ponytail. So I'm doing this because I'm gonna want um, more than one solid color. If you're looking for just solid color at the ends, you could actually take this ponytail and you don't even have to leave it. You could just take a section, back comb it, and apply your bleach, and you'll still get an amazing look, but I want, some depth to this color. So that's why I'm weaving it because I'm actually gonna go back later and take all the pieces that I've left out that are dark and slightly break the base by applying bleach. So I'm jumping ahead, sorry. Okay, let's just look at these subsections. But I feel like you guys get it, what I'm saying right now, right? Like, I think you guys get it. I'm gonna repeat what I did in the front to all these ponytails around. I'm gonna hold the hair lightly, I'm gonna weave out my strands, I'm gonna back comb, I'm gonna apply my bleach and close my foils vertically. So after you've done and you've completed all of your ponytails, she will look like this, a hot ass mess, <laughs> but she will be beautiful, I promise. Okay, now you're gonna go through and all the little, all those little dark hairs that are brown still, you're gonna go and you're gonna take your bleach and you're gonna apply it on those, those brown hairs. So you're gonna put some gloves on and you're just gonna paint it on the hair with your hands and just get messy and get in there and paint them. But you're going to wait until you have a desired color 
in your foils that you want. So check your foils first. Make sure everything's looking like the color that you want. Then you can go ahead and apply that bleach because you're only gonna leave this on for like five to 10 minutes because we just wanna break the base, AKA we're not trying to achieve the same color. We just want it to be a bit lighter than what the natural level of the hair already is. Okay, so after you've let that five, 10 minutes pass, and make sure you watch it, make sure you watch it, okay? It might only need five minutes depending on the type of hair you're using. You're gonna take out your foils and you're gonna wash the hair with some shampoo. It doesn't have to be neutralizing. And you're gonna keep those ponytails in because they're gonna help you keep everything under control, especially if you're not used to washing out hair that has backcombing in it. It can be tangly, so this is how we're gonna tackle it. So after we have washed it out, we're gonna condition with the Shimmer Light Purple Conditioner. And you're gonna wanna kinda break up the backcombing with your hands first, and then you're gonna take a Denman brush or a Denman-like brush and comb it out from the ends, working your way up. After you've combed out your five ponytails, it is now time to take them out, slide them down, and then you're gonna go through all of the hair just to make sure everything is nice and tangle free. Then of course, you rinse out that conditioner, and I actually decided to let this air dry. So I let this air dry overnight, and this was the result, honey. It gave me so much body that I was like, do I wanna curl this? I don't know, cause I like it right now. I am just loving everything about this look. Honestly, guys, I really hope you guys use this technique and create some beautiful colors. Oh, as well as this is a lace frontal wig, so that's why I have this headband on here, cooking it up, you know, gotta check those baby heels. Okay, how's that doing? If you wanna know how I customize, then you can watch the links in the description box below for how I lay my front soles, honey. Yes. All right, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn those notifications on.